Marvelous Muses. How are we doing, guys? So, we're going to work on a frozen tray. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do the castle on this one because this is a small, little bit smaller round tray. But what I thought about doing was doing the high hills. And in making the high hills, put them over here, show you this one. This one, I thought about doing the high hills and kind of putting them on here like handles. But I don't know if that's going to be too much. Or if I should just like do one high hill on here. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I may not do any high hills. I may just do the tray with this on it. So this is going to go in after the fact. I'm going to pour a clear. I mean I'm going to pour a background layer behind it. And I thought this glitter here. Lilac fairy. Went really good with the colors here. So this is what I'm going to put in my resin. For the background we're still mixing the resin up here i'm gonna put you guys on a pause finish mixing my resin i'll be right back okay we are back guys let me turn my fan off here because i can't pour the glitter it will blow it everywhere my little fans that april brought me she brought me two of them i've got one over by my uh, computer desk area, kind of by where I do my re my uh, acrylic pouring at. I mean, my acrylic pouring. My uh, tumblers at, and my Cricut and everything's over there. I have one over there, and I have one right here. They are. They're the only way I've been able to come out here and tolerate this, honestly. Um. Thank you, April. If you watch, I appreciate it. All right. So we're going to pour a decent amount. Very frozen looking colors, right? Very frozen. Let's pour some here, see what we get. Spray a little bit of alcohol around the outside edge. What did I just get in here? Got glitter in there, I wouldn't count on. All right, so we're gonna pour this. I probably have way too much mixed up here, but I didn't want to have too little and have to try to mix it up again. Us resin artists always have extra molds to pour into, right? It's not an issue. Alright. I want a little bit more. i got to have enough room that I can... Give it a nice top coat after we put the other in. So I've got a little bit left here. Yeah, I'm going to give it a little bit more. About halfway. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, I'm going to find something to pour this in and we will be back. Bye. Hello, guys. We're back, so... Um, this resin, this layer is cured enough that we can put our picture in and we can get ready and start doing the rest of it. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, instead of doing the high hills, because with this tray being as small as it is, that's a bit much. So what I'm actually going to do is, move these out of the way. Sorry about the train, guys. If you don't know, you know, train. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, oops, I want this. It is uh, one of the molds that is for the uh, wine bottles. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use quick pour resin and I'm going to fill it because I need two of them. So I'm going to make two of these and uh, we're going to put the snowflakes in them. 
I'm also going to put a few of them around here. And then I've got some like little orange like looking leaves and stuff that we're going to put around. Uh, to go with the picture that we're putting on. So we're going to do this in a minute. I'm going to get the picture placed on here where I want it kind of. Scoot out of the way here. All right. So we want this. Pretty much. Perfect. Oh yeah, that's going to be great. Okay. And like I said, she's got like some orange leaves going this way. And then she's got some white snowflakes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my tweezers and I'm going to pick out some white snowflakes. And uh, out of this mix here. And then we're going to pick out some, Uh, some of the little orange leaves and we're going to put some of those around here as well. And get a hold of them here. I don't want the blue, I just want the white. Can't see them a whole lot, really, but So we're going to put a few more here. Alright. Now we're going to take some of the little orange leaves. You hear the gecko? You hear the gecko, guys? <laughs> that is the gecko mating call. Oh. Apparently, they are looking for a girlfriend. Or boyfriend. I don't know. I think it was a male. I think it, when I looked online... Because somebody had suggested that's what it was. So I went online and looked up male gecko nighttime mating call or something like that. And it well, that was it. It was like, okay. Okay. I think we're going to do... One here over the top of this. There we go. Where the hole is in the paper. Okay, so that's going to go in there. All right. 
think I want some something else around the edge here. Let's see, what are we going to do? Let's do a little bit of Girl's Best Friend. Do a little bit around here, around this top edge. Yeah, we'll just do a little bit all the way around, mix in with the snowflakes and the leaves, tie it all in good. There we go. Not too much. Enough bling that it's going to be beautiful. All right. So we're going to, first of all, we're going to mix up our, I don't want to move this a whole lot, guys. A little bit here so we can see what we're doing. Oh, no. Get out there. No, 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 no. All right. We'll move it back over when I get ready to put the other in there. Okay. So. I'm going to mix up some of the fast cure resin and we're going to put some of this in it. It's going to sink down to the very bottom, which I'm fine with because that's going to be the top when I put it into the tray. But I'm going to use a fast cure because I want to be able to do two of these by the time this cures. So. All right. get a cup here and uh, fast cure resin that I have is a clear fast cure resin so it will cure clear the brand I don't even know what the brand is I got it on Amazon it has a lot of bubbles in it guys a lot the last pour I did didn't have quite as much, but it still has a lot of bubbles. So what I'm going to do, because this stuff is really, really hard to get the bubbles to mix stuff in, because you only have like a minute to do it. So I'm going to start out, and I'm going to pour just my one. Okay, so that's about how much we're going to do. We're going to add in this first because I want to be able to stir this into the resin before I add the other layer. Okay. All right. So, we got them in there. I think we're going to add just a touch of that white, same white that we did around the edge, or the, what's it called, girl's best friend. All right, now we're going to add the second half of the resin. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to move this out of the way. We have one minute literally to stir this. So it will. Because it starts getting warm very quickly. Like right now, it's already getting warm. All right.
over poured it just a hair. We're going to let those set for a few minutes. Uh, it's got to cure for 10 minutes. We will come back. We will demold it. Pour the next one. And then we'll pour our clear on this. And I will. Once we demold the second one. We will put them in. Pour our clear on. And I actually will come back out and do that. Oh, it's already hardened. Can't get it in there. All right. I'll be back. See you then. Bye. Hey, guys. We're back. So I poured these. I got them sitting on here. Kind of stuck them in the resin that was underneath there as best I could. And now we're going to give it its layer of top coat. going over the top of these because this resin like I said it has a lot of bubbles in it all right I was going to put a little bit of glitter in the center but I don't think it really needs it and I want to be able to see them so I think we're just going to leave it like this not really going to be much to demold, but we'll back, be back in the morning to see it up close. See you then, guys. Bye. Just thought I'd pop on and show you up close here. What it's looking like. Alright, we'll be back when it's done. Bye. Hey, guys. So, we are back. So, I took it out of the mold just now. That's what it looks like. Looks pretty good here, guys. So our frozen tray. Alright. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, perfect time. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. I hope your resin carries is beautiful. Your craft projects turn out amazing. I hope you are all happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. And I will see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.